guys, so welcome back for Friday, the October 12th. Um, everything that we're doing and knowing about October crashes, we finally have it. What's going on? Just please keep in mind that this is perfectly healthy. This is great. This is, um, you want this. This is good opportunities for a, you know, a swing trade. You know, for a lot of us, we always worried about, we chased the stock. We wish we could have got it. We could have got it. Well, now here's your opportunity to get it. Uh, a lot of stocks have some good rallies. I told you about three weeks ago to trade the UVXY for an insurance policy. And if you listen to me, you should have you should have did really well that backed up your UNLV. You didn't have to buy a lot of shares. I did pretty well on it. I think I pulled out about 15 points on it. Um, but overall, that that's basically what we do. You know, you got to have an insurance policy. So anyway... That worked out well, but yesterday with the volatility and everything, it was a great shorts. I mean, it was a trader's dream, but please don't take it in the wrong way. This is what we do when it comes to trading. We go out there and we trade these markets, you know, with the volatility that we're having, and that's how you make money. So listen, there's a lot of big movers out yesterday, and I could just go down the list, but I think realistically, the UVXY was probably the best day trade and swing trade out there. You know, I'm not a fan of ETFs, but when it comes down to ETFs, that's when you trade them days like this. So, you know, you know what the Fed, what they're doing, they're trying to slow down inflation. Listen, you know what? I, I heard a great line on TV the other day, and they said, you know what? Everyone's been having free lunches, all right? Well, and everyone's getting fat, all right? So now what they're doing, they're starting to charge for the food, and hopefully that would make people a little bit more responsible. So in other words... They're giving free money out with, with the interest rates at all-time low. And you know what? Eventually, let me just tell you the theory behind this. Having a higher interest rate is not a bad thing because if we'd ever run into another bad situation, you could always bring it down. Right now, you can't go any lower when it's at zero. So a lot of people are spoiled. They've been, they borrow money for free and they're doing this. Great. But you know, they got to slow it down. The growth is doing great. The economy is doing great. But they, gotta, they, they want to slow it down. They want to kind of ease into it a little bit. And, you know, obviously, they got a big national debt they got to pay for, you know. So, listen, eventually they can't go out there and, uh, you know, they got to pay that money back. So it's good the economy came back. Now it's time. You know, you got to start paying for it, you know, just like any, anything that we're doing, right? You go into the business, you know, they let you money, and now you make your money. Now, now all of a sudden you feel bad that now you got to pay interest. Like, wait a minute, I got to pay? You know, I got, you gave me free interest on the credit card. Now you're going to charge me? Well, listen, we built your business. You're doing good. You know what? If things get rough, we're lowered again. But, but if things get rough, they can't lower it anymore. You know, they can't go negative. They got to go positive. It's been a great um, situation for the last 10 years. It has. And you know what's great about it, guys? This is what you learn about economics. By you being a trader and you understand how the money works and you being here at Cybertrain University... You know, that you're not some just typical investor that's sitting and watching TV all day. When you're in the thick of things that we do every day, I've been through three crashes and I only got better and better at it. And believe it, believe it or not, I made most of my money on these crashes. And that's the way you have to look at it. So anyway, that's the memo for today. That is how you deal with today's economy. Now let's talk about what's moving because there were a couple of stocks. I just want to bring up one stock that was my ultimate favorite, which is Square. Now, Square, I just want to bring this up. You guys know we traded Square a long time ago. We made a lot of money on Square. And unfortunately, we sold, I sold it too cheap. I should have held it. And when I saw it hit 100, I was like throwing up. I mean, I had it like, I had it at like 25. I sold it at 46 and it went to 100. But listen, look what ended up happening. It got destroyed. It dropped down to 65, you know? And now where it is, it's back to 75. So the way you trade these markets, if you love a company and you wish you could have bought it and you get a situation like this, this is how you trade it. If you love um, Square and whatever happened to it, I'm just using Square as an example. Had a great, great run up and it backed off that much. Almost, that's literally almost like 50%. You know, and this is a real company, all right? Um, you know, this is, this is how you get your buying opportunities, all right? So these are great buying opportunities, so don't, uh, don't get it. Great call, um, Steve said, on the square. Listen, Steve, you're more than welcome, and you know this. There's so many of them out there for us, all right? Now let's talk about what is moving uh, this morning. First of all, the IGC uh, early bird gets a worm. If you're here at 8 o'clock, you all should have got in around 780 when I called it out. 
Right now, you're doing pretty well on that one. Once again, keep an eye on, be careful with this stock. We watch, we know how volatile it can get. But she was a great, great pre-market. A lot of you guys should have made money in pre-market trading IGC. That one's doing pretty well. ICX uh, S is another one that I found. Now, the reason why I'm throwing this on my watch list, it doesn't look like the most pretty stock that's moving, but a lot of you remember this uh, China INET nationwide we traded in the past. It got really destroyed. You know, you can see the stock, the high was 46. I don't know. I feel like it's coming back a little bit. I don't know. I love stocks that get destroyed and, and getting that good buying opportunity, you know, uh, like the INO that we saw. IOVA, another one I found this morning, another stock that's pushing pretty nicely. Stock got uh, really beat up, 18 down to nine. Not really being affected too much on the, the little bit of a, uh, that mini crash that we had. But she's gapping up. Look at that. She's moving up pretty nicely. Only thing that you got to be careful of, spread is pretty big right now. IMDZ, another one I found this morning. Now, this stock, another one, got really beat up. Nice. You know what? This is a nice level one stock. But you know what? Down 40%. Got destroyed. Let's see if we get a little bit of a bottom fish. Um, Design Corp. I don't know. It, it, I don't know if this is a, a pharmaceutical stock, but we know pharmaceuticals don't come back. But we are getting a little bit of a, a, a little bit of an uptrend right now. Square is going to go on my watch list, but once again, you got to be a level four trader. And then the UVXY, man, we cleaned up on that one. We did really, really well on it. Just remember, this is a probably in the five category. If you're my thousand to twenty five hundred dollar day trader a day. Then you have, if you're my half a million, million dollar trader in this room, the stock, you, you, we killed it. We killed it. And let me tell you, that's how we basically do it. Fausto, your race is up almost $3. Yeah, you know what? I sold race. And let me tell you this one day. I sold race and I got out um, when it had, it had this big dip. I got out right around a buck 34. And I got really up because it had a little retrace right here. I got out when it hit that resistance levels back here. And then you could see it went right back up. And I was getting a little upset. I'm like, oh, my God, the thing came back. It went up. And um, I like race. I like Ferrari for the long term. But you know what? Once again, great opportunity. You know, stock took a huge hit from 142 down to 115. Here you have a, a, maybe it's a big buying opportunity. Yeah, and I might consider buying it right now because I do love the stock long term. But uh, being up almost 3 bucks, Wendy, and anything else, these are buying opportunities. I mean, um, if you really love the stock and you missed a rally, you want to crash. Remember, cash is king. All right, guys, anything I'm missing I did not call out? Neil's uh, plus 40, and Benito's up plus 80 on Square. All right, let's give those guys a round of applause in pre-market. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Congrats. That's what it's all about. We make a lot of money in our pre-market. I'll tell you this. You don't know how many people are that I speak to. I did so many events and they said, listen, I just want to learn pre-market. I want to learn level three. I'm like, well, it's a lot more than that, but it's amazing how many, so many people starting to realize that that's where the money is. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Um, I will not be here this afternoon. I'm going to go spend some time with my wife. We got a, uh, there's this big, big event in New York city. I want to share it with you. You probably want to look it up. I was invited to this wine and food festival. All the top chefs in the world are there. There's probably going to be like 10,000 people in New York City, 20,000 people in New York City in this big pier, 10, no, about 10,000. And uh, I'm, going to go, I'm going to go enjoy it, but I'm going to trade the morning with you guys. And then obviously I'm going to go uh, have some uh, happy time with the wife. Remember, happy wife, happy life. That's right, Grant. All right. But, uh, but you know, the staff will be here with you guys. Josh will take care of you. John's here. Everyone's here. Eric, Danielle, everybody's here. So uh, got, and don't forget, next week is the on-site. So look forward to seeing you guys all there for the soiree on Wednesday. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, just like what Ken said, look, listen, and learn, and you will learn. Good luck, everyone.